If you grew up as a baby boomer, Gen Xer, or even millennial, chances are you know your way around a remote control, especially when it comes to catching a glimpse of one of your favorite actresses in a bikini. From Ursula Andress and Dr. No to Bo Derek in 10, some of the most iconic movie scenes involved a buxom young starlet rocking a swimsuit. So stick around as Facts First presents the most paused swimsuit moments in movie history. Bridget Bardot, The Girl in the Bikini this one kind of speaks for itself. After all, the film's title pretty much told you everything you needed to know about its content. In this 1952 classic, Bardot was clearly in peak form. Do you think she knew the movie would become one of the most paused films in history when she appeared in it, wearing that little strapless number? Elizabeth Taylor, Suddenly Last Summer as the character Catherine Holly in this 1959 film, Taylor is asked by her cousin to wear a sizzling hot one-piece to help attract prospective love interests. Obviously, that plan ended up being successful. Ursula Andress, Dr. No Andress, as everyone knows, was the OG Bond girl. In this 1962 007 classic, she's seen wearing a white bikini. At the time of the film's release, the sexual revolution was just beginning to get underway. No doubt, with the help of her beachwear, she played a pivotal role in it. Raquel Welch, One Million Years B.C. Less of a bikini and more like artfully draped pieces of animal skin, strategically covering up her naughty bits, Raquel Welch stole the show with her wardrobe in this cult classic. Bo Derek, 10. The title of this 1979 film is quite apt because Bo Derek undoubtedly was a perfect 10. In our opinion, nude bikinis deserve to come back into style. The world would be a better place. Brooke Shields, Blue Lagoon. Shields could be seen wearing a makeshift bikini in practically every scene of this scandalous 1980 film. If you watch the trailer today, it almost seems like you're watching a nature documentary. Phoebe Cates, Fast Times at Ridgemont High After Fast Times hit theaters, high school boys worldwide suddenly had a new favorite celebrity crush. Phoebe Cates was the reason why millions of thirsty viewers have broken their remotes pause buttons in the years that have gone by since this 1980 film was given a home video release. Carrie Fisher, Star Wars Return of the Jedi Reportedly, Fisher hated wearing this famous bikini. In fact, she was once quoted as saying that being able to kill the giant sand creature at the end of her scenes on Tatooine was the ultimate revenge. While she might not have enjoyed having to wear it in the beating hot desert sun, Fisher's costume will forever live on at comic cons around the globe. Pamela Anderson, Baywatch we couldn't make this video without giving a shout out to the bikini queen herself, Pamela Anderson. To this day, the high thigh one piece she wore in Baywatch is still just as popular as ever, especially since the dawn of the Instagram age. Denise Richards, Wild Things. The subject material of this 1998 film is admittedly quite dark. Two teens accuse one of their teachers of sexual assault after he starts sleeping with one of their mothers. While that plot is fairly heavy, nothing in the film made as big a splash as Denise Richards' One Piece. Halle Berry, Die Another Day don't act surprised that another Bond film made this list. And spoiler, it won't be the last. Everyone knows that every 007 flick featured at least one swimsuit scene, and honestly, we think Barry gave Ursula Andress a run for her money when she recreated her famous beach scene wearing a very similar bikini. Angelina Jolie, Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. It's crazy to think this video game-inspired movie was made more than two decades ago. While the film was only mediocre, it's arguably Jolie's now-famous jet ski scene that made it a box office smash. Marilyn Monroe – How to Marry a Millionaire this 1953 comedy had a lot going for it. Many of the films featured in this video are of little interest to anyone outside of the swimwear they featured, but this one was in a league of its own. Marilyn Monroe donned a red, form-fitting one-piece swimsuit that featured a plunging bust line, and like always, she looked dazzling in it. Deborah Kerr, From Here to Eternity in this 1953 romantic drama war film directed by Fred Zinnemann, Deborah Kerr is seen wearing a halter top swimsuit featuring a cinch at the waist. She shared the screen with Burt Lancaster, who rocked a square-cut pair of trunks. Jane Russell, The French Line in 1953's The French Line, Jane Russell portrays an oil baroness who ends up going incognito to find a lover who appreciates her for herself rather than her wealth. At least in this case, incognito meant cutouts and spangles. Trina Parks, Diamonds Are Forever 
Well, wouldn't you know, another Bond girl is making an appearance. Parks, as the athletic guard Thumper, wore a dramatic bright yellow suit while facing off with Sean Connery. She rounded her look off with arm and neck bands, a string cinching her waist, and elegant hoop earrings. Pam Greer, Coffee in this 1975 blaxploitation flick, Pam Greer wore a dramatic white halter top bikini featuring teardrop cups. To complete the ensemble, she of course also wore a pair of those oversized 1970s sunglasses. Daryl Hannah, Splash this one might be a bit controversial because really, if you think about it, in this lighthearted 1984 fantasy film, Hannah wasn't actually wearing a swimsuit in the technical sense. Instead, she sported a fishtail and scales while playing a mermaid. Lacking a proper top, Hannah's only covering upstairs was her long blonde hair. For obvious reasons, Disney felt the need to censor a few scenes when Splash received a release on the Mouse House's streaming service, Disney+. Plus. Annette Funicello, Beach Blanket Bingo while the high-waisted bikini is now seeing quite a comeback, Annette Funicello was one of the first to popularize it. Rumor has it she sported hers due to a stipulation in her contract with Disney that forbid her from wearing anything too provocative. Demi Moore, Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle Moore was already 40 when she donned this itsy-bitsy, teeny-tiny black bikini in the second Charlie's Angels film. She made quite a statement to all of her naysayers who insisted she was past her prime. If anything, that was her prime. In fact, she proved she could hang with all those young bombshell actresses she shared the screen with who were 10 years her junior. Jessica Simpson, The Dukes of Hazard. In 2005, when this movie hit theaters, Jessica Simpson was on top of the world. At the time, she was known as a pop singer, but after showing off her acting chops, not to mention her stunning figure, she suddenly started appearing on covers of every top entertainment magazine. While Simpson knew her way around a pair of Daisy Dukes, her most memorable costume in the film was that hot pink bikini she was hiding underneath her trench coat. Jill St. John, Diamonds Are Forever we have already discussed this Bond film, but it deserves another mention, considering how jaw-droppingly gorgeous Jill St. John looked while playing Tiffany Case. It's been said most of the roles St. John was cast in required her to wear a swimsuit, and after one glance of how she looked in Diamonds Are Forever, you'll understand why. She ended up spending at least 75% of the film wearing her black and white bikini, searing this image into our minds for eternity. Kate Bosworth, Blue Crush when she played surfer girl Anne Marie in this 2002 movie, Kate Bosworth was fairly unknown. Since then, she's gone on to appear in films like Beyond the Sea, Superman Returns, 21, and Still Alice. Looking back at her appearance in Blue Crush, it makes sense that the role catapulted her into mainstream popularity. After all, she looks fierce as all get out, hanging 10 on the waves. Nicolette Sheridan, The Sure Thing. This 1980s Rob Reiner comedy featured stellar performances by Daphne Zuniga, John Cusack, Vivica Lindforce, and the ever-lovely Nicolette Sheridan. Of course, the real screen stealer was Sheridan's bleach-white bikini. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one of these pausable moments was your favorite? Let us know in the comments section below.